Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. The holidays are in full swing, and we have lots of holiday cheer this morning. We have tips for travel, champagne, even puppies. But first, we need to start with dessert. Yeah, it's okay to start with dessert. Pastry chef Tara Lewis of High Neighbor Hospitality Group is here to show us how to make one of her favorite holiday desserts, donuts. Welcome to Bay Area Focus. Thanks for having me. Okay, I love this whole setup already, and you're going to actually show us how you make this dessert. But first, let's talk about High Neighbor Hospitality Group. Yeah. It's very well known in San Francisco because it actually owns a few restaurants in the city. Yeah, so we have three. Um, it's Corridor, Trestle, and Stone Circle. Okay, and are all these pastry shops or? No, they're actually full restaurants. Full on restaurants. Um, one is a tasting menu, um, the other one is just a la carte and tasting menu, and the other one is kind of um, counter service. Uh, you just walk up, uh, order what you want, and sit down, and they bring it to you. Okay, you are a pastry chef. Yes. My dream job. First of all, <laughs> how do you not eat everything you make? It's hard. <laughs> I really try not to, but you know. Yes. Okay, well, you brought some lovely desserts here, seasonal desserts. Yeah. Okay, so your favorite? Um, so the quince one is my favorite. That's this one right here. Um, it's kind of a play on a peanut butter and jelly donut um, and a sandwich, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, so at Stone Throw, we do childhood favorites. So it's more like throwbacks and how I can change it to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, so this one has uh, peanut butter mousse, candied peanuts, um, the quince puree, uh, quince jellies and lavender dusted donuts. Okay, so inside the donuts, there's peanut butter. No, it's just on the it's bottom. All on the bottom. So the fun okay. part about it is that you just like take it, swoop it, and like you know have fun with the whole dish. Okay, all right. So what are all these goodies here that you have? What are you gonna make for us? Um, so what I wanted to do was our brunch donut. Okay. Um, so it's apple cider jelly, um, candied pecans, uh, compressed apples, and some viola flowers. Okay. And the viola flowers, I mean, they are flowers, but they're edible. They are, obviously, yes. And they have a good taste to them. They taste a little sweet. They're really interesting mm -hmm. and also beautiful. Of course, okay. so. Yes, of course. Okay, Great. so how do you start? Let's start. So I'm going to take the apple cider jelly. Mm -hmm. um, I actually make this with agar, so that way it's actually vegan, which is really nice. Okay. Um, and you can pick that up in, like, uh, Chinatown and places like that. And I'm sure that does well here in the Bay Area. Yeah, people love it. <laughs> it also adds a really cool texture instead of like a thick, viscous jelly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more brittle and light on the tongue. I wish you could see this. Oh, yeah, there we go. It already looks so good. So then, just two donuts. Always the best part. And is that sugar in that bowl? That is sugar, yes. Okay. I like anything that has sugar on the top. I know, right? It's mm -hmm. so good. Adds that perfect touch. <laughs> Okay, so then these are your donuts. Yes, so these are more of the style of beignets. They're a little mm -hmm. bit denser, they're not super airy. Mm -hmm. but they're still puffy enough that you're like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I, I they, definitely they pack the punch. Yeah. All right, so this is interesting. What is this? So these are the compressed apples. So I actually take a vacuum seal and I compress them in a sugar syrup mm -hmm. and it gives a cool, like, clear color to it. That way they kind of look like a jewel tone instead of um, just like a brownish apple, you know? And I'm smelling, smelling something very strong. It smells really good. So it's lavender and vanilla, oh, and that's okay. in the sugar. All right. Adds a different depth mm -hmm. to flavor, which I try to do with all my desserts. I mean, obviously you make the dish look so beautiful, but we're going to mess it up a little bit, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. So which one do you recommend? I mean, I want to try both. Should I do both? Yeah, why not? Okay, but you have to eat with me. Okay. I, you should never eat alone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, so scoop it all up. Yeah, just swoop it up. It's swoop always it up. fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Do it taste like a peanut butter sandwich? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really does. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you. Mm-hmm. These are seasonal, obviously. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full, but I'm just going to keep doing it. Cookies, you have these donuts, but cookies, you say it's an easy thing to do during the holidays. Mm. And that's what a lot of people like to do because it's, you know. It's easy. It doesn't take too much effort. Mm -hmm. And also, it's really, like, hard to mess up. So mm -hmm. I like to make sugar cookies a lot, um, especially for the holiday season. Um, what a great way to, like, make them more interesting is that you can decorate them with royal icing. It takes, like, 30 minutes. Okay, where do I have to go to get more of these because this is delicious? So we sell these at Stone's Throw. Mm -hmm. um, we sell these at nighttime, and we sell these on Sunday mornings. Okay. Thank you so much for coming on the Thanks show. Thanks for having this me. This is so awesome, and thank you for sharing your food. I'm going to keep eating. We're going to be right back. Some cool holiday getaways, and if you got a new puppy for Christmas, what next? We'll answer that. We'll be right back.